Hello? Hello everyone. All right, we are going to get started. Welcome to the internship showcase. My name is Ruby Kim. I'm the manager for Project OnRamp Boston. It is so nice to meet all of you. Some of you I've only seen your resumes or emails. So it's so good to see everyone in person. Um, today is a day to celebrate our wonderful Project OnRamp interns. Um, I have nothing else to say except to have a great time, meet someone new, talk about what a wonderful summer you had, and I would love to introduce our national director of Project OnRamp, um, Lila Neal, who is going to come up to the stage. Woo! Thank you, everyone. I know the thing that everyone least wants is a long speaking program, so we're not gonna do that. I just really have to say a few thank yous first. The first people that I need to thank are the interns. I know that you have gone outside your comfort zone this summer. I know you've been really challenged and put into environments and situations that you haven't encountered before. And really, you are the reason for the success of this program because you make us look good. So can we just have a hand for the students? Thank you so much, students. And then the other people I have to thank really are um, the student support partners. So these are college success organizations and colleges and universities that support the students throughout the summer. The other group are our corporate partners. I know that some of you are here today and really honestly, um, without you, uh, we, we wouldn't be able to do this program without your commitment to our mission. And I see Blueprint Medicines here. I see so many companies that have now partnered with us year after year and students report that they get incredible mentorship, that these are great places to work. So. Thank you so much um, for your commitment. Um, the final group of um, stakeholders that I want to thank are um, Third Rock Ventures, Google Venture, um, and J and J, um, which support us financially. And you know, without them, we wouldn't be able to do this work. So thank you so much for your commitment um, and for allowing us to grow year after year. Um, and my final thank you, of course, is to Life Science Cares, Boston team. Um, thanks all of you for, for helping us um, with this program that's a core program of Life Science Cares. Um, and with that, I would like to, Life Science Cares Boston has a new executive director. Um, so I'd love to introduce you to Dr. Yvonne Spicer. Welcome, Yvonne. Um, and I'd love to have her say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. I, I just, first and foremost, I'm, let's see, less than 48 hours on the job. Um, I've been drinking like a fire hose, but uh, it has been an extraordinary experience and opportunity. Um, just to kind of give you a perspective of me, I'm a former classroom teacher. I taught high school. Uh, I'm a STEM teacher. So I taught uh, STEM in most of my career. So this connection with Life Science Cares is amazing. And I've been in a leadership role for over 25 years. And most recently, I'm the former mayor of the city of Framingham. Um, so that brought me to this job. This job that its mission and that is to help eradicate poverty and raise the bar and move the needle for children of color, children of less privilege. And that resonated with my spirit, being a child uh, that has experienced both. And so when I think about this program, Project On Ramp, I think about your potential future. And for me, it's like running a relay race. You know, when you run a relay race, you have the baton and you pass it. Somebody passed the baton to me, and I was able to run my portion of the race. And as a result of some of your experiences that you're having, you're going to be able to pass the baton to the next generation. So keep thinking everything you do has a purpose, and your impact, your work, means something to someone else down the road. So pass that baton and be willing to cheer someone else on as you move forward. 
So that's for my interns, and I'm sorry, no longer interns. Some of you got jobs. Yeah, you're gonna be able to pay some bills, so that's great. <laughs> but I wanna also extend a huge thank you to the host companies. This project could not work without you. The mentorship, the guidance, the support, the opportunities that you've presented to some of these young people. This is our future in this room. This is your pipeline for your company. And I'm grateful you gave them all a chance this summer. And I will end with one little quick story. Somebody gave me a chance when I was 16 years old and said, yes, you can. And I never knew how that chance would propel me into so many things. You never know what you're gonna learn working at Bloomingdale's at a 1000 uh, 3rd Avenue in New York City. But that's where I got my start and my spark for understanding that there's a bigger future for this kid who grew up in Brooklyn and had an opportunity to continue to grow with different opportunities put before me. So I thank you all for being here, but I think it's time to hear from all of the great interns and all of the great work they're doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Um, our next speaker is from one of our partner companies, Jura Bio. So I'd like to introduce Julie Norville, who's the CTO and founder of Jura. Thank you for being here, Julie. So we're an early stage startup company um, that I'm from the church lab. Before that, I worked with Tom Knight, who started Ginkgo, though I didn't join that company. But why do we like hiring interns as a startup company? We like to hire interns for several reasons. It continues the cycle of education as we are all interns to start out with. Also, there are lots of tasks that need to be done in the lab that do not require a PhD, or we're happy to take on people earlier in their career so that they can build those critical foundational skills that we've all taken a turn at doing at the beginning of our careers. And interns are still in the classroom learning, so they may learn new things and bring fresh ideas to our lab. Why are internships valuable? When you're applying for jobs after graduation, if you want to pursue a career in science, labs love to see that you have worked in a lab setting, to know that you've developed a skill or two in a previous job. And when you're an intern, there's a focus on mentorship and you can find someone who will champion your career. Mentoring is helping you build your skills and answering questions and being a guide through this chapter of your career and throughout your future. Whenever you have a question in the future, your mentors are someone you can reach out to and you can work together to find the best path for your future. Now I'd like to talk about Rakesha, who started as an intern in our lab and found her calling. She became after her well, she became the director of Project Clio, a nonprofit organization, and she'll now join the board as she heads to medical school. She was a part of a team to further an IRB for women's health in, in immunology and bioinformatics and led Project Clio in understanding autoimmune diseases and identifying the immune changes that occur during pregnancy, a time when some autoimmune conditions go away. Thank you so much, Julie. Um, Rakesha was Jurabayo's first intern and you know, has gone on to great things. Um, we want to hear finally from one of our former interns, Eileen Millian. Um, Eileen did an internship with Project OnRamp and now is working in the industry, which is really the path that, you know, we want interns to find their passion and if it's if, if you leave this internship saying, oh my gosh, this industry is not for me, well, that's fine. That's also learning. Um, but we love it when students love the industry and want to enter the industry. So Eileen, thank you for being here to talk about your experiences. Good afternoon, everyone. As I was introduced by Lilla, my name is Eileen Million, and I'm honored to speak to you today as a Project on Ramp alum. Last fall, I began my new role as a project coordinator 
in the Digital Innovation for Medical Affairs at Moderna, and I'm really excited to talk today about how I launched my career in the life sciences. In the summer of 2022, when I was exploring my post-grad career options, I realized that I wanted to pivot into the pharmaceuticals industry. Originally, I had wanted to work in healthcare, and as many of you might experience, I really only had the option of doctor or lawyer, so I chose doctor. Um, but through previous internship experiences, I realized that my interests aligned better with a career in pharma, and luckily enough, I met Lilla Neal, who introduced me to Project OnRamp. I wasn't exactly sure what role I wanted to pursue, but I decided to explore clinical operations at Ciro's Pharmaceuticals. One of the most valuable skills I've learned through Project OnRamp was the importance of networking. I define networking simply as getting to know people. And at Ciro, I made the effort to get to know the people from different departments and backgrounds through the projects that I worked in. Project OnRamp offered professional development sessions, which paired me with multiple connections, some of whom developed into mentors. And my mentors showed me that I didn't have to limit myself to any specific role, and I was able to broaden my career search to roles that fit my many interests. At Ciro's, I learned how to be a team player better com and better communicate. My summer project focused on how to leverage community health centers to diversify clinical trials and launch clinical trials for cancer treatments across the world. Through this internship, I gained more self-confidence to take ownership over projects and initiatives. And currently at Moderna, I help develop digital platforms such as websites to transform and modernize business operations and medical affairs. This role has been exciting because I'm working to bridge the world of healthcare and technology to build the future of medicine. And I'm grateful for the opportunities that Project OnRamp have provided me to do that. I was able to gain valuable experiences, learn new skills, and make lasting connections. And I'm excited to continue my career in the life sciences to use the skills that I learned through Project OnRamp to make a difference in the world. I'll close to say to this year's Project OnRamp interns, congratulations on finishing the summer's internship. I know that the next steps post-internship may not always be clear, but I encourage you to continue developing the relationships that you've made throughout the summer. I speak from experience when I say that these relationships and experiences will be invaluable to navigating your career, and I wouldn't be here without the, pro without the help of Project OnRamp, and it's been such a full circle moment to be able to speak to you today, and I hope to continue to be a resource to you all in the Project OnRamp network. All right, I like to keep things super simple, short, and sweet. Um, I think that's kind of who I am. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna transition into the student presentations for about 45 minutes. Um, feel free to take a look and listen in on various posters. But at 4.45, probably on the dot, I will announce raffle prizes. Um, you must be present to win. So I will pull out 11 amazing water bottles for you. Um, so maybe you'll get lucky. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah.